Hello, this is Jason Longford, and welcome to episode 22 of MLB The Show, starring myself. And yes, I'll be promoting a little uh, YouTube channel for ya. I got a friend from Canada who has his YouTube channel called Cutter Historical. If you want to check it out, just go right ahead. If not, well, check it out anyway. It's pretty awesome. Oh, and the Mariners are in second place. <laughs> in the AOS. Alright. This game started. Oh, I get to, uh, I'm on base. Come on, I deserve better. Billy Butler. And we're going to see a change on the base pass here as we've got a pinch runner set to come on at first, representing the possible go-ahead run. Billy Butler steps in, got a base hit in his last at-bat. Possible go-ahead runs on first, one away. Ooh. And this is lifted high in the uh, air, down the line up. behind third. Chamber is there, so two pitches and two outs thus far. Cattell Marte digs in, coming off a single in his last at bat. Cattell Marte. Let's party with Marte. Get us a home run. Ah, damn it. Strikes him out here for round number three, so after a scoreless top half, they'll have a chance to win it here in the Well, it's good for Jeff, though. Mariners move one. Still tied three to three. Here we go. Ryan Goins set to hit now for the first time. Ooh, I guess I can be outfield. Nice. Swing and a fly ball, and that should be deep enough to end it. The catch is made. Here comes the winning run from third. And they're going to walk off as Damn winners. It. They've taken it here in extra innings. Fifth run home. Well, you really just need to get something up in the air here, and this one does the trick as he drives in the winning run here on a sacrifice fly. That was a good sack fly, though, for the win. Even if I did try to throw it home, I don't think it's going to make it. Well, runs at something with a premium here in this matchup, so it doesn't make it quite as hard to find our top player of the game. Devin Travis. You see a couple of hits for him in the ball game. This one was tight throughout, but in the end, he really helped lead his guys to the pick. So that's a wrap here tonight. For my partners in the booth, Eric Carroll and Steve Lyons, and our entire crew, I'm Matt Basturton. You've been watching MLB The Show. And for more, click on over to theshownation.com. The Blue Jays come out on top, 4-3. to three. Good night from Toronto. Like I said, congrats to um, Jeff's team for winning that game with a sack fly. Oh, I hope I get to start the next game, though, so I can really do some damage.
Is it how many hits? Figure is more hits, obviously, than me. Catel Marte, Robinson Cano. God, that manager needs to like make get his head up out of his ass and start me more on, on offense. Downtown Toronto and the Rogers Center, the home of this edition of Baseball on the Show. Tonight it's the third of this four-game weekend series between the Seattle Mariners and the Toronto Blue Jays. Let's have a look at the starting lineup for the Battle of the Blues. As their starting nine tonight will look like this. And let's also get a brief look at our two starting pitchers and you see how they stack up right there. James Paxton. Ooh, Aaron Sanchez looks good. What a nice view. Jason Lofgren will stand in back in the lineup after getting the night off yesterday. I should be playing every day. And this one's tap fouled at home plate. Well, that's all right. I'm not mad. I'm just. And this is just oh, run, 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 run. Yes. Not be in time at first. A good effort that time, but not enough to prevent them from getting a one-out base runner. Good job, Jason. William Sasaki digs in for the first time now and looking to break out of this little six game dry spell at the plate. All right, Sasaki. He's set now the pitch. Hit hard back Ooh. up the middle. And that's in there. Base hit. Whereas on first and second. You think he was looking for a fastball there? I think he was. That's about as hard a hit ball as you're going to see, and he was right on that one. Kyle Seeger will dig in now in a run scoring Ooh, spot. American got League, the right 35. Man for the job here as he currently leads the American League in RBIs. Look at Kyle Seeger, man. He's just on file. First and second now, one man out. All right, three and one. Is he going to walk him? Now he's spinning a throwback to Ooh, second. nice. And the runner back safely. Come set, now the pick. And a full count now, three and two. EK, as the Jays take the field here tonight, they come in not exactly setting the world on fire as they've dropped five of their last eight ball games. Yeah, and the pitching really let them down last time. Too often their guys were falling behind and having to throw fastballs on 2-0 and or 3-1. and That'll catch up with you after a while. Oh, hit sharply as this is pulled into right. And that's in there. Base hit. And they'll hold that runner at third as everybody moves up a base, and they're loaded with one away. 17-game hitting streak, Kyle Seeger. Nice. That a boy. Josh Reddick has a great opportunity now. Gotta be a trade for the A's in case you want to with the Mariners. The is loaded. God, the Mariners like to trade people. And this is swung out and missed. Damn it. A huge punch out there as the Way to go, Reddick. Way to strand us all in base. Wait, hold on. Wait, two on? Oh, okay, never mind. And how many times do you see that next pitch get broke for a double? Or Derek Dietrich will get his first opportunity here, and that average is certainly not where he wants it, down in the 220s to begin the ball game. This is on the Ooh. ground to short. Oh. Is he going to get out of this? 
Oh, damn it. First, he does get out of it, and the inning Should have been 2-0, but but oh well. forced to settle for one. On now to the bottom of inning number one. The M's lead it one to nothing. Jason Lofgren stands in. Jason Lofgren. He's ready now. The pitch. Oh, gone. Deep. That is a moonshot, folks. A long home run. Nice. It's a two-run shot to straightaway left. Home run number nine on the year. And the M's have taken a 3-0 lead. One of the keys for him getting the victory in his last start, he did not allow a home run in that outing. But this is now two home runs he's served up here in the first few innings. You can bet there's a bit of concern over there in that dugout. <laughs> over there's a hotel, too. Jason Lofgren will step in now. Two for two, including a home run thus far. All right, Jason. From the belt, the pitch, line hard into left. Ah! Dyson is in his tracks now as he really makes the, the catch for out number two. I'll tell you, if this is in off the plate just a little bit further, this thing might end up in the cheap seats in left field. But instead, it just gets to the outer half. He still gets pretty good wood on the ball, but he winds up pulling it right at someone. Danny Valencia. Stand in to start the home half of the fifth. And you get the sense, Steve, that this crowd's been pretty well taken out of the ball game to this point. Yeah, they pretty much had to sit on their God, it's all quiet. Not a lot to get excited about. Quiet so over at the Rogers Center. Credit to that man out there on the mound. He's cut right through this lineup for the first four innings. Swinging the ball pretty well hit out towards left center. Lofgren will slot over and put this one away. And that's out number one. A little bit over halfway home tonight. Bottom of the fifth as we get a look at our line score to this point. And boy, just one hit for these guys. And they have not swung the bats well. That's putting it mildly. Jason Lofgren was tied in, but first we take it back to the third as you take another look here at this two-run homer that had him rolling early on. No, it isn't. <laughs> Oh, and he gets a hold Goodbye. of this one as it's in the air to deep left. Does oh, he man. have another one? He does. Ten it's home another run. home run. A solo shot here to left. His second of the game as they pile on. It's now six to nothing. And you know what, guys? Some games, you just wind up getting all the breaks. Now, granted, they've created some of the breaks for themselves. I'll give them that. But you know you're going well when you see balls like this turn into home runs off the foul ball. Six nothing, Mariners. Chamber stands in, reached on a walk in his last trip. No runs, four hits, and no errors in the game for Toronto. Swings and lets an easy fly ball into shallow center field. Reddick. Reddick is going to be the one that makes that play, and he had a long ways to go to record. 
Jason Walker looks right in again, and before he takes his cuts here, we take it back to inning number six. This was his second home run of the ball game, as he'll stand in here looking for number three. And number 11 for the year. And the pitch. Wow, three home runs at Rogers Center. Oh my God! Left field, and this one's not coming back. This is a long home run. Oh my God! Three home runs in one game. That rarely happens. A solo shot here to left. His third home run of the ball game, as this lead swells to seven to nothing. Talk about pure domination. Boy, have a night. His third home run of the ball game. I mean, he's absolutely brimming with confidence at the plate. It's been a joy to watch so far. That's nice. Well, the bats were certainly working in this one, but out of everybody, I'd say this man most deserves to be our top player of the game. Yeah, he was definitely a big part of this victory. See there, four RBIs for him in the ball game. He came through when they needed him, so he was instrumental in the win. He's got three home runs, four heads. Not a bad day in the office.